it's great to be with you. Do you like music? Do you like making music? Do you have any instruments? In today's story, there's an instrument and someone who liked to make music. Let's find out who it is. It's David. Do you remember David? David killed the giant Goliath with his sling and some stones. And after that happened, the king, King Saul, wanted David to go and live at the palace with him. And King Saul had a son and his name was Jonathan. And Jonathan got on really well with David and they became really good friends. And that's what our story's about today. And I hope you're gonna help me by joining in. So King Saul often used to get really, really grumpy. Can you pull a grumpy face? Mm. Oh, that's a good grumpy face. And then to cheer him up, David used to come and play him music. So it wasn't a tambourine, it was actually a harp, but if you've got something or you could sing, why not you sing to King Saul like David played to King Saul? And that used to cheer Saul up. But one day it didn't work. Saul was even more grumpy than usual. You see, he didn't like David because everybody loved David. Everybody thought David was amazing because he'd killed the giant Goliath. And Saul didn't like that people loved David more than they loved him. And so it made Saul very jealous. In fact, so jealous that he got into a rage. Can you look really angry? Into a big rage. Arrgh. And he threw a spear at David. You could pretend to throw a spear. <sighs> well, ooh, the spear just missed David. Only just. And David knew he wasn't safe. So he went away and hid. Now, later on, when Saul sat down for dinner and Jonathan joined him, Saul, King Saul wanted to know where David was. And so Jonathan had to say that David had gone away. This made Saul really, really cross. Can you look really, really cross? That's a really good cross face. So Jonathan snuck out. He went out of the palace and he went to a secret place to meet with his friend David. And Jonathan said to David, look, my dad really wants to hurt you. It's not safe for you to stay. You need to go far, far away. Can you imagine how the two friends felt? Well, they hugged one another. Is there somebody with you that you could give a hug? Or maybe you could just give yourself a cuddle. They had a cuddle together and they had to say goodbye and they cried. Can you pretend to cry? <laughs> oh, it must have been very sad that they couldn't stay together. But even though they couldn't stay together, they stayed friends the rest of their lives. So I wonder, what do you think is good about the way that Jonathan was and how he behaved? Maybe you want to pause the session and chat with somebody that you're with. So Jonathan was a great friend to David and he stuck up for him even when Things got really difficult for him with his dad, King Saul. 
There's a special word that we can use to describe how Jonathan behaved. He was faithful. Is there anyone that you can be faithful to? You can always ask a grown-up to pause the session if you want to have a think about it. And someone we can be faithful to, who is faithful to us, is God. So let's worship God, thinking about our great big God. Let's sing about that together. And do join in with the actions. Our God is a great big God. Do you remember how faithful a friend Jonathan was? Well, for today's craft, you can make a special picture frame for a faithful friend of yours. So I've got a piece of paper to be the back of the frame, and then I've cut some strips of cardboard to be the frame. Now, you can use glue, or I've used some double-sided sticky tape. And I'm gonna build up my frame here on my backing. So I'm gonna put on the two sides. And then I'm going to, and you can have a lot of fun decorating this at the end. And they're all things that I found in my recycling. So I'll put this one on the bottom, stick that on for my frame. And then the top one, I'm only gluing or, or using double-sided sticky tape on each end. So I've left a space to put a photograph in of a special friend of mine as a reminder of my faithful friend. So I've made a frame and I've got a space there to put the photograph of my friend in, or you could draw a picture. And now I can have lots of fun decorating the frame. I'm sure you've probably got lots of great ideas. Maybe you've got some stickers, like I've got some stickers here 
or you could use some colouring pens to make some pretty patterns around your special frame of your faithful friend. And so there is my finished frame to put in a picture of my faithful friend. Who are you going to make your frame for? So as we think about how faithful Jonathan was, let's say a prayer and thank God for him. Let's close our eyes for a moment, be really quiet. Father God, thank you for Jonathan and that he was faithful to David. Thank you that you are faithful. Help us to be faithful. Amen. It's been great to be with you. And don't forget, next Sunday, the 11th of July, we've got Messy Church at four o'clock. Don't forget to pack a picnic for afterwards. So make sure you book a place. And every blessing to you and your family. Bye for now.